Hey guys, Oak Mega Man here. It's been a lot since I've uploaded. Sorry for the background noise. Um, I'm actually moving into my new recording studio. And my new recording studio, I mean more padded walls. Sorry I haven't been uploading as frequently. Now that everything's back in order, or at least to where I can upload again, I'll start uploading maybe like once, twice a week. Because I can't like do... Uh, expect to give a video or when I'm bored and honestly I'm always bored I have nothing to do and it's summer so I guess we should start uh, can't skip this oh no those are actually words should I attempt to hold too fast once more. My heart's willing to uh, still suffer that illusion of loving of lovely hours. Those slipped from me and lost. They can no longer hear my latest song. I bring my verses of un to an unknown throng, throng, throng. My heart made anxious even by their clapping. I don't get it. A shudder takes me, tears, t tear on tear, entire. A firm heart f feels weakened and remote. Oh, what I see so far, so far away from me. This must be the song, and what is gone becomes reality. <laughs> Faust. Huh. Today is Henry Faust's funeral. Despite how the sign reads, even she wasn't sure if that was his real name. So let's put it this way. Today's daddy's funeral. There are more people than I thought. Aunt revealed traces of annoyance beneath her vial. So sleepy, the girl thought. Why must we be up? I'm gonna be the narrator. And, I, and I'm trying on oh, this girl. Why must we get up and face a, such a dreary day? Chatter permits to see a black suit of which she recognizes only a few. A few crowd wept in sorrow. How nice it is that there's still those who will lament his passing. It's about time to go, Aunt asked with a smile. Why does Aunt smile when she clearly never means it? The girl yawned. Looked back at the tune, almost wishing she could swap places with the person resting inside. The coffin closed with a firm click, as if the path of clouds and gloomy sky had run heading to the wall, headlong into the wall. This chick is emo to the extreme. Is this the one? No. Is it the one? No. No matter how. Tidy, the lush blue til tile were stashed, were stacked. One could still detect the passage of time. What's wrong? My aunt turned around, mystified. The girl didn't want. The girl didn't want to go in. Aunt smiled. Whoa. Weirdly. I've never seen that word. I have to look up this. This, this game has already taught me new words. As she had read the girl's mind. You only have to go inside to see what's in there. Don't worry, it belongs to you now. No, why do you think it will bother me? This isn't what you guys say, say at home. However, the girl kept all the thoughts to herself. Never mind. 
Just wait outside then. She waved as she turned dismissively. The doorknob turned smoothly. So slow. Going in wasn't better than staying out here. But she just wanted to go home as soon as possible. Any home would do. Alright. This girl seems so... Aunt Meryl... Mer Aunt Merith. The air seemed to... F the very air seemed to freeze. The a horizontal layout could... Just barely be made out through the haze. Clouding... Unlit lights... In the... Arc chamber. Aunt Andy chamber. God... Son, I am... Wow. Okay. In the silence. It was as if dust would be stirred up by the slightest step. But the odd thing was, there was no dust at all. Mm -hmm. Weird. Both doors were locked. Why? Literacy must be on. Where's a light? A light. Eek! Oh, it's a oh Jesus! It's Satan! Whoa! It's just a cat. That is not a cat. That is a demon. That cat doesn't look normal. That was frightening. Still is. Feline eyes lace, lace the sharp. Look, a uh, gloom, uh, the coal black fur melted into the shadows. It flicked away in the next second. Ellipses. I learned from the best. Ah, it disappeared. Where had it come from? Cat had vanished from some corner of her eye. Weird, huh? What I say, dear boy? This is the weirdest predicament we've ever gotten ourselves into. Ellipses. The empty path extended further into the darkness. No, I could not pass by here. But... nothing. Empty space all around her. Nothing revealed itself. Dead air thumped violently in her ears. There was no one could be here. Huh? A screeching noise came from the door behind her. What in the world? Darkness oozed in. wrong with this house? It was the beginning of the nightmare. A patch of purple was eerily bright. An absence of light as a sugar coat with icing. Hello? An ear-piercing sweet voice sounded as a patch of purple plopped out in the inky depths. Smooth locks bleached of color, as if waiting for a painter's palette that would drip down any second now, peering out. An ashen face owned, owner tuned to greet, turned to greet her. Jesus. Hi. You know how to get me home? Yes. Yes. Yes, what? Gonna finish that statement, boo boo? Oh, 
excellent, you understand me. Am I not the first child that's been out here? The purplish white figure pulled itself up as if ascending a long flight of stairs. Got those heels! <laughs> what time is it? Is it spring? Long, long sleeves flapped around her vision, but the way the figure moved didn't seem entirely human. Who are you? I remember the door being locked. If there's nothing else, can you shut the door on the way out? He started moving away with the flourish, the flourish of its sleeve, accompanied by the clopping sound of the horse of horse hoofs. Oh, it seemed bored, but it made her feel a bit uneasy. She had to find. I don't want to leave. This is father's house, so shh. This is father's house, so she should be the one to inherit it. The adults had said that before. No matter how unwilling their expression had been, they indeed said that before. Therefore, she wasn't going to let herself be swept out the door no matter what. The figure stilted and turned back despite being far away. Oh. She regretted those words almost immediately. Practically, as the figure swiftly closed the distance between them, she realized that its expression hadn't changed. She tilted her head a long, long way to meet her gaze. Really? Violently purple eye, violently purple eye flashed glaring, gleefully. As if they had suddenly remembered something. A garish grin abruptly sl split open on her pale face. Elizabeth. Well, that was that was weak. Elizabeth. A cloyingly sweet. A cloying. A cloyingly. A cloyingly sweet voice spelled out the girl's name. You've returned. Disappeared suddenly, as the window shut. I snap, the window shut. I snapped shut, and then the door opened. Her body moved on its own accord, disconnected from the mind, rolling, roiling with confusion. Elizabeth sprinted up the steps and past the dim door frame, draped in spider webs, retracing her old path. She couldn't remember why she stepped foot in this place, and a growing sense of nasty disdain urged her to leave. Say, so her heart settled when she finally stepped foot on the lush carpet. As long as the front door still open, then. Okay, I'm calling some major ball right now. I know I came in through a door. I ain't break no windows. So I know the front door should still be there. I I'm going to close my eyes. They better be there. And this, okay, I'm trapped here. Huh? What? There was nothing on the wall. Where's the door? She was trapped by the nothingness that revealed itself in front of her. Just like how that cat previously cowered in the corner. She could po that could, this can't possibly be happening. What? Hold up. Hold up. If this is a visual novel, I am not locking the visuals right now. What was that? What's wrong? The nauseating voice started becoming insane for now. Let me out, she cried. Huh? Was that she said? 
there's no such thing as a fuck there. She restored. She restored. She retorted. I just came in through the front door. I didn't see that. You told me to shut the door on my way out. I don't remember saying that. The unease that had disappeared were surfaced with the almost tangible in its strength, terror, exhaustion. She didn't want to face the latest turn of events. A strong sense of fatigue stole, stole its way into her mind. And her eyes started to close. No. What's wrong? Ah, uh, Elizabeth. How? Ah. Uh, how did the bee know her name? I shut firmly before she could ask the question. I indeed shall enhance your eyes and your ears instead of shutting yourself away, sad as a worm. The nods of her book. Come, follow me to a new place. Let's go, let us go, and learn about life, and leave the rubbish of philosophy. Ah, uh, Berlozzi, La Damnation de Faust. Squares! Elizabeth opened her eyes. Where is this place? The pendulum ticked away mer mercilessly in the empty air. Uh, is, it gonna be, is this going to be like a big thing? God, I can't stand ticking. Like just ticking in dead air. I'm pretty sure I told you guys this in like another video. Um, but I can't stand ticking in silence. That is something that will get to me quicker than anything. Uh, as if it was the only living thing left in the world. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I know there wasn't that much real gameplay. And it was more along the lines just me. Hold on, before I, I guess before I end the video, probably find a safe station. It is a piece of chocolate candy. Taking, taking one. Yeah. Eating, eating it will impact you more. Hmm. Will impart more energy and your walking speed will increase. But it can repeat, it can be repeated until the maximum limit is reached. You will be able to progress. You are. No, you will be unable to progress if you cannot walk. The reflection of my face, stern expression. All right. So if I get hungry, I can't progress. Something tells me that this candy system is going to be the death of me. And matches in a sham. Great, I have more lighting. Or, can I? Using match will increase your own vision range. They will be used to the maximum number to read. But I progress if you cannot see. Mm -hmm. Do you wish to make a record? Yes. Yes. Alright guys, I'm going to end it here. Hope you guys like, don't forget to like, favorite, and enjoy. Hit that bell button. And from an Oak Tree's Branches, I'll see you guys later. Peace!